Okay, in this video, I'm going to make a post rose. I have like four pounds of post rose. This is boneless. And I'm just gonna take it out of this black bag and clean it up. Okay, I have an orange. Well, in below, it's a song con culantro shote, some black pepper, eh, fresh garlic, salt, oregano, and some cilantro, red pepper, and green pepper because I was planning to make a sofrito. So I'm going to grab some of this in here and put it in the blender. Okay, I have a blender in here and I have this small onion which I'm going to cut it in two or four pieces because I'm going to blend all these ingredients together. And like I said, I have one orange, which I'm going to uh, take some of the juice from this orange. But if you can, ha if you have orange juice, you can put one cup of orange juice. I'm just going to squeeze some fresh oranges. I'm going to squeeze some fresh orange juice from here. And I'm going to put one cup of orange juice I also gonna put some fresh garlic. I have like approximately six, all to your taste. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of salt, but later on, I'm gonna add more salt to the pork because we're gonna need more. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna leave all the ingredients in the description box below. I'm also going to put one tablespoon of oregano. And one envelope of sazon. If you don't want to use sazon, this is for color. You can use some paprika, approximately one to two tablespoons of paprika. And remember the container I show you? I have some fresh cilantro. So I'm going to have a handful of cilantro. Approximately like two of the uh, red pepper. And approximately two of the um, uh, green pepper. You can add more if you want. And we're going to blend all this together. I have some lemon juice in here and I'm going to add approximately one tablespoon of orange juice or if you have the real, uh, real lemon you can add one tablespoon or one lemon and we're going to blend this again. I put the pork in this Ziploc bag because I'm gonna marinate it with all these ingredients we just blend. It is better if you leave this overnight or you can leave it a few hours because the, the more time, the more flavor this pork is going to take. We're gonna add that in there. And like I told you later on, I'm gonna put more salt. But now, make sure you cover it real good and you're gonna put that inside the refrigerator, of course. And we want to wait until, until you're ready to put it in a baking dish and bake this delicious roast pork. As a few hours I have in here a baking dish or a baking pan with some aluminum foil. I put aluminum foil because it's easier when, you know, by the time I have to clean all this, all the tray. And I preheated my oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake this for approximately from one hour to two hours um, at 350 on cover make sure you put all the marinade on top and I'm also going to sprinkle more salt in this pork I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle more salt and you can put that more salt in the marinade if you like
and I'm gonna bake this on cover 350 for one hour one hour and a half up to two hours that's depend on your oven and I'm gonna show you the final result as that is done my pork is done it was in the oven for one hour and 30 minutes and then I'm gonna cut it in half to make sure it's done you can use a thermometer if you if you like and I just gotta go ahead and cut mine in half you can make a gravy on the side if you like you can put some chimichurri a sauce or you can just eat it the way it is and my pork is completely done so I just gonna slice it up and I'm gonna serve my pork with some rice and tostones which is a fried plantain and here is the final result of my pork like I told like I was saying I serve mine with arroz con gandule which is rice and pigeon peas tostones which is fried plantain and the pork so I hope you guys like this video if you like it please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and share with your family and friends thank you for watching and I see you on the next video bye bye